All right, hey, I know it's a holiday, but it's always time to talk about batteries. They're finally done. You know, these batteries here, The these are the Boston Power Swing Modules, and there's eight cells in these little modules. Uh, I have made a, a big 24 volt module that then you could also use as a 48, and it's finally done. Let me show it to you. We're gonna test it to see how it does with the thermal camera. Here is our 7S module. It's made out of seven of those uh, eight cell modules, right? That are all in parallel. And then these are the uh, current collectors are just PCB boards uh, that interconnect, right? So here's the single one and then these two connect and then these two and then these two. And then we're using nickel plated strips on the, uh, on the bottom side that are spot welded into current collectors into the PCB boards. And then those are from this side connected into the cells in here, right? So this is 7S and then all of these balance leads, they come up in the front here and they end up in a connector. This is a 16 pin IDC connector. We use it as an eight pin and this is how we connect it. And then you can just put a connector BMS in there. In this case, I'm just monitoring the seven uh, groups of batteries that are in there to see how they do. And then uh, you can put a connector in here. In this case, I put an XT90 connector, right? But if uh, we're gonna test it, this is capable of about 120 amps as a module. Uh, we might need to, to re remove that much current out of this thing. We might have to go and connect directly into these. This is a positive here. And then on the other side over here, it's gonna be the negative. And then you connect the cables here and then you connect a bigger connector that can handle 120 amps, right? For right now, we're gonna test this. Uh, we're gonna see, I, I anticipate the connector is gonna get hot, but I wanna see how the BMS boards and current collectors do. And also the, 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 uh, the strips, right? The, uh, the nickel strips and see what they do at different levels of power. And then we'll see that on the, on the thermal camera. So this is our setup here. Our battery's connected to this. 3000 watt 24 volt inverter and then our load is just going to be this uh heater that could pull pr pretty much like 3000 watts or whatever so all right so here is our module it's nice and cool uh we're going to start a test here and we're gonna... Okay, so we're doing 22 amps, and the cells are, uh, yeah, they're sagging just a tiny bit. 22 amps, we'll leave it there. So that's one kilowatt right now, right? That we're removing from this battery. So that's one C right now. Uh, just a little under one C. So it's about 70 degrees C. That's a bit hotter than I want it to be, but that's because it's nearing 80 amps. 
so we're gonna call it 50 amp continuous on that port right here and if you want the 120 you're gonna have to connect over here on these other ports uh, the cells are capable of 120 continuous uh, and it seems like the bus bars are also because they're not getting hot the only place they're getting hot is right here in the connection between that and this and over there in the front and then the cable in that connector right so that cable those cables and this board up on top here it's a bit undersized for anything over 50 amps so yeah you'd have to go straight into the current collectors over here to do more than that to do the full power output of these guys so there we go this is a, a good test uh the cells are at 3.4 now so we're almost removing we're probably like 30 percent uh, of the state of charge left on this pack yeah we removed a lot of energy very very quickly running this test so let's lower it over here and then we'll uh, we'll see with the thermal camera how this is looking okay so ooh, that's a hundred and ten a hundred and one C yeah that corner right there is the hottest one we'd have to do something else if we want to remove it from there uh, we'll run a future test running it from the main current collectors to see the true potential of this but I've seen seen as how these uh, are not really getting hot those are holes um, yeah we're good uh, this top board there yeah the traces are a bit uh, thin to be able to handle more than 50 amps they start getting hot so we have to either double up or just change the design so that the traces get wider in there and then we can we can try to remove more energy but i think yeah if anybody that wants a, a full 100 120 amps they could just connect here on the actual uh current collectors there okay and this concludes our test for today to do this we'll have a future one where we show the full capacity uh, being removed from this other ones but as of right now the way we're gonna sell these first batches with these cable uh, attached on the top like that is going to be rated at 50 amps uh, which is up slightly above 1c right um, this is a one kilowatt battery pack slightly above one kilowatt hour uh, and you can remove from this little connector about one kilowatt if you want more like I said there will be another way to do it but these are going to be available at jack35.com uh and they're going to be there starting today black friday because we have all the parts these are the first production modules that we're making with these packs and they are probably going to sell out so if you want some of these and are interested in these i'd say you jump on them sooner rather than later because uh well black friday sales are usually high and uh stuff sells out right so if you're able to get some of these congratulations if you don't maybe wait for the future i think we will make some with the with the sonatas but the sonatas do cannot push as much power so if you were looking for a module that can put some power out right like over 100 amps this is probably the one if you don't need that if you just need one for storage then probably the one that we make with the sonatas is going to work better for you but this is available today uh link in the description we'll see you guys on the next video bye all right so it weighs 13.9 pounds or 6.3 kilograms this is how you would use this as a 48 volt each one of them is 24 volts two of them together side by side would make a 48 volt battery and so you always have to just uh connect the negative to the positive and then this would be your most negative and this would be your most positive now on the production version of these boards i have uh put um expose the uh 
copper here so that we could just do a flat um, nickel strips right here to interconnect the two so that way you don't have to uh, have a cable connecting like this and you, then you would just go and get the positive and the negative here, right? And so that would be a two kilowatt hour 48 volt battery.